I'm back. I'm back, boys. I have not uploaded in two weeks. It all started with me being sick and not being able to upload for a couple of days. Then I had exams at school and I obviously couldn't upload. But yesterday, I finally got done with my final exam. And I come home, I go to sleep, I think to myself, yes, tomorrow I have all day to make a YouTube video. I wake up this morning, I'm sick again, so that's why I sound sick, but I'll be damned if I don't upload another video for a couple of days. Also, quick side note, I bought Sonic Frontiers and I haven't played a 3D Sonic game in like two years and turns out I suck. So please, don't bully me. Anyway, boys and girls, it's the end of the year and you all know what that means. The Game of the Year Awards, aren't we? all super excited for those of course not because nobody besides fanboys really give a shit about the game of the year awards they kind of see it in the same way as they see metacritic if a game i like gets a good review score metacritic is the best site ever but if a game i dislike gets a good review score obviously it's a rigged site and everybody was paid off they kind of do the same thing with game of the year except with awards if a game i like wins an award it's the best thing ever if a game i dislike wins an award it's obviously rigged. And this year, much like every year, fanboys are very emotionally involved because I guess they have literally nothing else going on in their lives at the moment. They're mainly arguing about this, a God of War versus Elden Ring. Now, PlayStation fanboys are pretending like Elden Ring doesn't matter, it's a shitty game and everybody's forgotten about it already, while people on the opposite end of the spectrum, like Xbox fanboys, are pretending like they don't even know what God of War is. And to be completely honest, it is all really pathetic. Like, take this for example. God of War Ragnarok came out and made no impact on release then. Like, I don't, I don't like the new God of War games either, my guy. But to say that the games make no impact at all, despite the fact that they're incredibly popular, like millions of people love them, it's just incredibly disingenuous. Like, you can say I don't like the God of War games or I think Elden Ring is the better game. Obviously, you can say those things. But to say like, oh, the game made no impact, you know, I didn't even know it came out. That's just shut up, dude. Okay, clearly the game has made an impact. Outside of Twitter, nobody talks about Elden Ring. Again, such a dumb comment. Either this guy lives in his own little bubble where Elden Ring is an irrelevant game, or he's just too dumb to realize that everybody is still talking about and playing Elden Ring. Like people are still constantly making new Elden Ring content on YouTube. People still talk about how they're gonna do like a sixth playthrough of the game because it's just that replayable and the game is basically almost entirely different depending on what kind of character you play. But PlayStation fanboys have been hating on Elden Ring like this ever since it came out because it completely overshadowed Horizon Zero Dot- no Forbidden West- I don't know man I don't know. They, I don't even remember the name of the game it just got completely fucking overshadowed by Elden Ring and then all the PlayStation fanboys were mad about it and then now, like, now they're gonna be mad again because now Elden Ring might even overshadow uh, God of War, and that's just not acceptable. It's honestly so sad that they just can't play a video game and enjoy it. They have to go on Twitter and complain about a completely different video game. But it can get worse, ladies and gentlemen. It can get worse than PlayStation fanboys hating on Elden Ring because it overshadowed Horizon Forbidden West. This can also happen, apparently. For Sony games, Elden Ring is a Sony game as well. That's right, some people, besides just shitting on Elden Ring, have now decided that, you know, if we can't pretend that this game isn't good and we can't get other people to hate on it, we might as well pretend it's a Sony game. Even though, you know, the game is out on multiple platforms and the game was mainly marketed to be on Xbox, fuck it, we'll just pretend it's a PlayStation game. Makes no sense, but we'll do it anyway. Isn't it enough for these people that three Sony games have already been nominated for Game of the Year? Nah, they also have to pretend that Elden Ring is a Sony game. These people must be really disappointed their favorite game Twitter isn't nominated, you know? Because instead of playing these other games, they're just on Twitter all day, complaining that other people like different games than them. Uh, also, just to prove how much these people are addicted to Twitter, they're actually buying the verifications, which is just hilarious to me. Anyway, who do I think is gonna get Game of the Year? Now, I don't actually know any of the nominees besides God of War and Elden Ring, and I really don't care enough to look it up. But you know, Elden Ring obviously is a masterpiece and God of War to me kind of just seems like a DLC of the older game the same way that Miles Morales was. But hey, a lot of people seem to like it. But uh, you know, I really don't care. It's I think the game of the year thing is just fucking stupid. And if you really care this much that you have to be on Twitter constantly and fighting other people about it, um, 
I suggest that you find something more useful to do with your time. Anyway, I think I'm gonna wrap this video up. A pretty short video, maybe not the best way to come back after two weeks. But I, I don't know, I'm fucking sick, dude. Give me a break. Anyway, if you liked this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.